Good morning, Kendall Kids. Welcome to your Monday, March 8th. Today is International Women's Day. This is a, a day that celebrates all the contributions women have made to our society. Uh, and there are quite a few to list off right here. Uh, you know, first up, we have our own mothers. They've uh, kept us safe and protected us from ourselves, and they're quite important in our lives. But even so, Think about all the people throughout history, all the women who have uh, done amazing things to change the world. Let's start off in the art realm, because come on, I'm an art teacher. Uh, you got Frida Kahlo, who is one of the most famous painters in history, uh, and she did a lot of work exploring um, gender, culture, and identity, and is just, if you haven't uh, gotten a chance to look at her work, Google her. Check it out. Uh, next up, let's talk about Queen Elizabeth II. She is the longest serving monarch in English history. And that's something to be said because they didn't always meet the best endings. Uh, after that, we got Maya Angelou, one of the most, or one of, um, America's greatest poets. Uh, she had quite a few poems to her credit, quite a few books, wrote, uh, plays, movies, and actually TV shows too. So quite a lot of cultural or pop culture uh, and major cultural movement right there from her work. Uh, on top of that, you also have Amelia Earhart, who um, was the first female pilot to fly solo over the Atlantic. Uh, then we also, along with her, uh, you're talking about pilots and uh, you know people flying, we have Sally Ride, who is actually an um, American physicist and the first American in space. So, you know, huge accomplishment right there. And then you got Harriet Tubman, uh, an abolitionist who... Um, rescued at least 70 enslaved people and uh, moved our nation towards abolition of slavery. So, you know, an, an amazing contribution. And then you have Mother Teresa, who's actually a modern saint. Uh, she did a lot of work with the poor and sick and actually won a Nobel Peace Prize. Talking about Nobel Prizes, then we also have Mary Curie, who uh, won a Nobel Prize for her work with um, uh, radiation, basically, trying to figure out how it worked out. And really kind of interesting fact, uh, you probably wouldn't want to go visit her grave because uh, all of her belongings and her body itself is still uh, actually radioactive uh, and will be for at least 1,500 more years. So that's a, a kind of, <laughs> you know, little side effect of the work that she did. But knowing all that, knowing all these amazing contributions that women have had to the world, uh, let's put our hand over our hearts and a little recognition. Look up at that flag and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, Kendall kids, let's talk a little bit about food. Today, uh, we have, guess what, a tuna fish sandwich or pizza crunchers along with sauce, corn, apple, and milk. Well, then let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the weather today. And today is going to be actually pretty pleasant. Uh, the high is going to come all the way up to 48 degrees. That's the prediction for today. So this is actually going to be a very warm one. Uh, we're looking at um, a little bit of precipitation coming our way in just a little while. Actually, I'll just show you a quick clip. Uh, we have a little bit moving our way right now. It should hit us in the next kind of hour or so, but it's going to be pretty short-lived, and there's not a lot behind that. So it's unlikely we're going to see a lot more throughout the day, but there is a strong chance we'll get a little uh, quick flurry or wet snow coming our way in just a little bit. For tomorrow, uh, just about as warm, but the sun will be out, so it'll actually feel a bit warmer. Um, Wednesday is going to be a potentially record setting day. We're looking at, uh, we might actually be in the sixties. So that is pretty amazing. Um, Thursday and Friday are nothing to sneeze at nice and warm as well, but Thursday is a, a pretty good chance of rain. So be aware of that. So very likely today, unless the wet snow and rain starts hitting really hard right at that, uh, you know, lunch and recess hour, it looks like it is very likely we will get an opportunity to be outside. So prepare for that. Make sure you've got the proper clothing on, uh, and that you're, you know, ready for being outside and having a little bit of fun. Uh, and let's end up or end the, uh, announcements here with a Kendall mission statement. 
The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a marvelous Monday, and if I don't get a chance to see you, remember to stay colorful Kendall.